Hi friends, welcome back. Today we are going to solve lead code problem 2116. Check if a parenthesis string can be valid. Before we start looking into this problem details, some examples related to this problem and the Java solution. I want to mention that my channel is dedicated to help people in their Java and coding interviews. On my channel, you will find lots of helpful videos that can help you in your coding and Java interview preparation. There are over 350 uh, different varieties of solved problems videos that can uh, help you in uh, you know those are the problems which are taken from uh, previously asked uh, coding interview questions by big tech companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Yahoo and many other financial companies and those constitute very important coding questions varieties such as DFS, BFS, matrix problems, graph problems, string problems, problems related to link list as well as optimization problems and problems related to dynamic programming and lots of logical questions. So this will give you really good practice uh, if you are practicing for coding interviews and Java interviews. So please subscribe to this channel now. So let's first uh, look this problem statement then we will go through some examples and then we will formulate our solution. So a parenthesis string S is non-empty string consisting of open parenthesis and close parenthesis. It is valid if any of the following conditions is true. So if it is like uh, as they have said like open and close this is basically a valid parenthesis string right. Uh, so if you look at the like this uh, ex explanation is there what is the valid parenthesis string is. Uh, so let's look at they have given us couple of examples for example if you look at this string right so this is one valid parenthesis string uh, right. So this is what they mean by valid right so open close open close so there is this is valid parenthesis string right. Um, so uh, what they are saying is they will give us also one array called as locked and locked array will be uh, some positions where we can cannot change that character right cannot change for example in this case they have given if you look at this first example. This is the locked array that is given to us, right? This locked array, right? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. So 1 means that this character is locked. So we cannot change that character basically. So the first character, right? First means uh, 0 based index. So this character. Then this third character also we cannot change basically. 1 means it is locked. So it is not open to change. And 0 means that this character we can change, right? This parenthesis we can change. For example, they have shown us how we can change it. Right? So this S is the original string that is given to us and we can change this string so that it can become a valid parenthesis string. For example, we go and change this zeroth character from closing to opening parenthesis. So it become open and close combination. right? Similarly, here it's already open and close combination. If we look at this fourth uh, character, this is a in the original string it is a open parenthesis sorry it, it, it is a close parenthesis we will change it to open parenthesis so that it becomes open and close combination so this changed string now it becomes a valid parenthesis string basically right so our goal is to find out if uh, the given string is it a valid parenthesis string right uh, with the we can make the changes if uh, using the locked positions and we have to check if we can make it a valid parenthesis string if it's not already a parenthesis valid string right and if we cannot uh, change it to valid string then we have to return false right so this is what the problem is so the second example if you look at this this is already a val valid parenthesis right so we have to return true so there is no uh, so locked is the array locked means zero means we are open to change it basically zero means we are open to change it and one means we cannot change that character basically or change that parenthesis right third example only one parenthesis which is closed parenthesis so there is no way we can make it a balanced parenthesis string basically right this is not a valid parenthesis string so even if we change it to uh, from close to open still it is just one right so it cannot become a valid string so we have to return false so this is the problem statement uh, if you look at the like uh, length of the array it can be very large it is 10 raised to 5 it can be 
and uh, all the characters will be either open or close parenthesis locked array is the array with a 0 and 1 right 0 and 1 so let us uh, first uh, so let's just go to a whiteboard and we will see like so uh, this is the same example that first example they have given us right this is the first example so uh, first let's just understand what the uh, valid parenthesis means right so this one in one example they gave right this is one valid parenthesis string right as open close open close so this is valid like if we put like this open and close here also it is a valid parenthesis string if we put more open here more close here still it is a valid parenthesis string right so this is a valid parenthesis strings basically so our goal is to create one valid parenthesis string from the given string if it is not a valid string right so this is one example that they have given us so um, let's just first visually look at this and then we'll discuss how we can solve this using a programmatical approach so if you look at this so zero means it is open for change zero means uh, this zero right these are the poses positions which are open for change so which means that this is open for change so we can put like here i can cross it and i can create a opening parenthesis here right so opening parenthesis because it's open for change now this one becomes open and close right after that if we look at this this is already open and close right so this is already valid now this character is also this character that i'm highlighting this is open for change right so i can make it like open parenthesis here right because i can change it this one i'll leave it as as it is right then because i'm already getting this as a valid parenthesis right so we it means that we will return true here because we can change this into a valid parenthesis string correct as i shown you here so this is the uh, answer so we have to return true in this case so now let's see how we can solve this problem right so what we have to do to solve this problem is <coughs> uh, we will actually create this these are this zero means that we can flip it right this zero 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 means we can flip these characters so whatever we want we can put there basically right open or close whatever we want correct so what we will have to do to solve this problem is we can go in like we will go in uh, first we will go in this direction right and we will keep track of uh, the flip count as well as open and close positions right open and close parenthesis count we will take and if we this is our first uh, this first what we will do is if we are um, like we will go from this in this direction we will uh, track flip count open parenthesis count and close parenthesis count and uh, if we encounter a situation like we encounter a position where flip plus open is less than close right flip plus open if it is less than the close count then it means that we cannot make it as a valid parenthesis right so that is our logic so um, here let's first just quickly go this is the stack trace i have given you for your easier understanding right so if we go from here so whenever it is a zero we will uh, we will count it as a flip count basically not open or close count when it is zero we will count it as a flip count so as you are seeing here first is flip flip count is one basically right here flip count is one when we are here zero then here is uh, close count is one now here right close count is one here correct right? when we go here the flip count is two now correct flip count become two here and close count is one correct and we are not yet seeing any uh, position where flip plus open is less than close right so as you can calculate it flip plus open right so flip is how much two plus open is zero so uh, two is not less than one basically right so this condition if it set, get satisfied if it it is happening like this then it means that we cannot convert it into valid parenthesis so we reached so far so now we are at one so now we are seeing close count so we'll increment close count here right so close is from one to two flip is still two correct 
after that again these are two flip positions so we will increment flip count right flip count from 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 here right this is staying as it is and open is also zero basically right so we never have a, uh, seen any situation where flip plus open is less than close as of now right and we reached the end of this string basically right so which means that uh, we are good from this direction we are we have to check in both directions if we find a certain cut criteria then we cannot change it into valid parenthesis that is what our logic is now we will go from this direction right we will start at end and we will go until front now our logic sorry our logic will be a uh, flip plus close should be less than open right so again we will keep track of how many flip uh, we are seeing how many close and how many open parenthesis we are seeing so this one i have seen you uh, like i have shown you here the tracking right so now we will be at the i'll change the color so we'll we are at this position right the last position now this one is a flip condition so flip count we incremented here it is one um, open and close both are zero now again we are here now flip count again incremented by one flip count become two our condition is not yet getting satisfied right we want we are always keep we will always keep checking this condition so so far it did not happen basically right because flip count is now already two these both are zero right so two is not less than zero now we are at this position one right now here we are seeing a close parenthesis right close parenthesis will increment the close count here so we incremented close count still this condition did not satisfy here again we are seeing a, a flip counts flip count we are increasing here right flip count is increased to three now still the condition did not satisfy right because three plus zero is three three is not less than one right uh, sorry uh, flip plus close right so flip is 3 3 plus 1 means 4 4 is not less than 0 right 4 is not less than 0 correct so this condition did not get satisfied so we will keep going so we are at this point now we are seeing a close parenthesis so close parenthesis count will increase right close parenthesis count increased still the condition did not satisfy now we are at a last character zero this is a flip count we will increment the flip count from three to four close will remain as two and open is zero so still this condition did not satisfy right so it means that we can convert this string into a valid parenthesis string right so this is our logic that we will be using in our java code to solve this problem if we see that this condition gets satisfied this means that we cannot convert that string into a valid parenthesis string so to understand it a little better uh, let's take some other example so you will understand more so let's take this example right so here uh, this is the string so um, uh, so let's say this this one uh, let's take this string right so uh, here we will apply our same logic right so first what we do is first we check flip count right plus uh, open right plus open if it is less than close right if it is less than close if this happens then it cannot be converted so let's go ahead and take a look at this string so first thing we always do is we go in this direction right zero to end of the string and we will keep counting flip count open count and close count so as you can see here uh, we are counting so we are at this first character so we are counting open count right? open is one so open is one here correct so we reach here now close is one so here open remains one now close also become one here right flip count is zero now we reach at this point right zero so this is a flip count so flip position flip count became one here right open and close count remain one right now here at this one position we are seeing a closed parenthesis so we will increment the close count so close count became two open count remained one and flip count remained one right at this position now right here when we are seeing a close count our close count uh, became from two to three right close count will increase flip count remain as one open count remain as one now at this position if you calculate flip plus open right flip is one plus open is one 
this one is now less than 3 basically right this is less than 3 correct so the condition gets satisfied which means that we can never be able to convert this string into a valid parenthesis string right so this is one example where we cannot convert it and let us see why we cannot convert right if let's just take a look why we cannot convert it so one means basically these are locked so we can cannot change this basically right zero means we can change it so right now um, this one means it's closing right so these two uh, let me highlight these these strings we cannot change right this one we cannot change because it is one right so if this is a closing parenthesis the only option we have here in the flip position is putting an open parenthesis right otherwise it will not work right if we put close parenthesis here so only option we have is putting open parenthesis it's already open parenthesis here so when we reach at this position so why we are able to decide that we cannot change it at this position right because uh, as you can see it here it is a non-changeable character right we cannot change it basically right and it is a closing uh, parenthesis and we already know that once we this this uh, uh, previous positions we know that this one uh, is like um, after changing right so we we cannot change it so for this closing parenthesis we don't have an opening parenthesis basically right we we can never be able to put an opening parenthesis when we reach this position right uh, so again i'll just highlight when we reach this position we are getting one closing parenthesis and we this is one basically so it is fixed we cannot change it now for this closing parenthesis we are not able to put any opening parenthesis here basically that's why we can certainly tell that we can never be able to uh, change this uh, string into valid parenthesis string at this point right at this point that's why our logic works right the flip count plus open count if it is less than the closing count right which means that we are having more closing parenthesis at this point right than opening parenthesis so it means that we can never be able to change this string right so this is one example where we are going in this direction right uh, so let's take another example uh, so where we are going in an opposite direction now right so this is one of the example so um, here again our conditions remain the same first thing is we will do always we will go in this direction right and we will check flip count plus open is less than close right if it happens then we cannot convert it into uh, a valid parenthesis string so let's just quickly go through uh, this example so you will understand it uh, so we are going in this direction so this is the stack trace that i have given you for e easier understanding so um, as you can see uh, this is one means we cannot change it right so one is this is open parenthesis again this is open parenthesis so you can see here uh, that open parenthesis become two so we are we reached at this point basically right this is two all both are zero right this is zero this is zero right now when we are reaching at this point this is a flip count right this is a flip count so we will we'll increment a flip count so flip count became one here correct now again this is a opening parenthesis opening parenthesis right so opening parenthesis will be uh, increased by uh, two so this is three first it became four here right here it is uh, close is zero and flip is still one correct it is just carry on from the previous state so we reached at this point we never able at this uh, until this point we are not able to see flip plus open is less than close if you calculate these things it never happens basically right so we reached here so again we are seeing a flip count here so we'll increment the flip count we increase the flip count here it is two here it is uh, one means this is an open parenthesis so we will increment the open parenthesis from four to five here right flip count still two and close parenthesis is still zero again the last one is a flip count we will increment the flip count right flip count became from 2 to 3 here and open parenthesis remain 5 and close parenthesis remain 0 so flip plus open is less than close this never happened basically right so we are good if we are going in this direction we are good we never saw any problem now we have to go in opposite direction right so we will go in opposite direction now so 
um, let me just mark this thing in a different color so now we will start going in this direction right uh, when we are going in opposite direction we have to check this one right flip count plus close is less than open right if this happens then we cannot convert it into a valid parenthesis string so now let's see uh, uh, what is the flip count uh, like we'll go through one by one character so and we'll keep track so here is the stack trace right so now we are at the last position here so this is last position right so this is a, a flip count so we'll increment the flip count here this is one uh, uh, now we reached at one here this is the opening parenthesis so we will increment opening parenthesis here right after that we reached here this is another flip count so we'll increment the flip count here so flip count is incremented from one to two now we reached here this is the opening parenthesis so we'll increment opening parenthesis from one to two uh, again next we reached here we are incrementing the opening parenthesis again so opening parenthesis become three close parenthesis become zero flip count is two so now if you calculate it flip count is two plus close close parenthesis is zero now right zero, zero is close parenthesis so two is less than three right so this condition gets satisfied so when we reach at this point at this point we are certainly able to tell that we cannot convert this string into valid parenthesis string and why it is because we are seeing more open parenthesis now than uh, close parenthesis basically flip plus close right we are seeing more open parenthesis uh, so let me just uh, basically show you this so let me write down this string so i'll explain you here so let's write down this so one zero yeah let me just clear this little bit screen so i can use this screen again this. so this is one zero sorry one one zero one one zero one zero one one zero one zero right so this is the locked locked count right and then this is the string right open 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 right five opens one two three four five and then close open close right close open and close so now when we reach this point right one point basically when we reach this point i'll just highlight it here right we are certainly able to tell that we can not convert this string into a valid parenthesis string and why we are able to tell it because as you can see this one right this is we cannot change this one basically this one we cannot change right so it will remain open parenthesis so here also we cannot change so this is open parenthesis so you can see that three open parenthesis and we only have a choice to change only at two position here right so maximum we can put here uh, closing parenthesis here closing parenthesis but this parenthesis we can never close basically right if we can never be able to close it basically you got it right so that is why we are uh, keep we are going in both directions right and checking it like that so that's why once we reach at this point we are 100 percent sure that we cannot be able to close this open parenthesis and so it cannot be a valid parenthesis string right so this is the logic so i explained you in very detail i think so uh, now is the time to take a look at the java solution that we have so it will be easy for you to understand after uh, uh, all this explanation so this system dot outs you know it's just for our uh, convenience we will just remove it when we are submitting the code but let's just quickly go through the uh, implementation so we have three count uh, right close parenthesis open parenthesis and flip allowed right so flip or allowed count so first thing we wanted to check is this string should be a even string basically right even length string if it is not even length string it cannot be valid right because open and close both parenthesis will be needed so if it is not an even length string then we can directly return false here right so now this for loop we will we are doing the first step here we are what we are doing actually we are uh, starting in this direction right we are starting in this direction right and our first uh, thing we are checking is basically uh, this thing right flip plus open is less than close we will check in this direction right 
so we will go here so uh, if it is zero it means that we will increment the flip count and uh, we will always check here before we go in the, into the iteration that flip plus open is less than close right this condition we will always check if this happens at all then we will directly return false because we know that either we are getting too many open parentheses or too many closed parentheses basically in this case we are getting too many open parentheses basically right when we are going in this direction so too many closed parentheses we are getting basically right too many closed parentheses so uh, we will not be able to convert that into valid parenthesis string so uh, what if it's not a locked is not zero right like one then in that case we will go into this else block where if it is open we will increment open parenthesis otherwise we will increment close parenthesis count right so we will go in this direction that i showed you in this direction we are going in this first for loop and we are checking this condition right flip plus open is less than close so if this condition passes and if we reaches another for loop then again we will reset all these counters right because now is the time to go in reverse direction so reverse directions means we will start going in this direction basically now and we what we will check we will check this one in this direction flip plus close is less than open right so that's what we are doing so we reset all the counts here we are now going from end to the first as you can see i is length s dot length minus one and will go until i is equal to zero right so we are going in opposite direction again if it is a zero locked character is zero it means that flip is allowed we will increment the flip if it is not zero we will increment open or close parenthesis count based on what uh, parenthesis we are seeing right here after that is done we will always keep checking our condition right flip plus close is great less than open right it means that if open we are seeing too many open parenthesis right if we are seeing too many open parenthesis so it means that we cannot create a valid parenthesis string right if it happens at all we will just return false right there uh, so we will go through the uh, uh, like this for loop if if we reach at this point it means that we can convert that string into a valid, valid parenthesis string so we will return true here right so uh, this is the problem and this is the approach that we discuss so um, let's just take their first example first and just make sure that works right so i'll just i'll just remove that system outs in a minute so this one is true as you can see so we are getting correct answer right so first in this as you can see the here in this printouts it went through this first for loop right and this is it did not find the condition never get satisfied so this open parenthesis to close parenthesis to this one is the second for loop right i just showed you uh, here so open parenthesis to two 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 so this is a second for loop again it never find a satisfying condition so it means that we can convert this string into a valid parenthesis string right so um so this is the approach so let's take a look at like let's um let's look into this condition like this string one one zero one one zero one one zero one one zero and one one zero one one zero and this is open close open close and open open right so this is open close open close open open so let's just submit this so this should give us a false right this should give us a false because it will not it will uh, not be able to convert it into valid parenthesis so we are getting correct result as you can see here false so in the first for loop itself it is uh not it understands that uh, you know it cannot convert it into the valid parenthesis string as i explained you here already right um so let's go ahead and remove those system outs and we'll run through all the unit test cases that they have given us so these are the system outs just for printing purpose and this is also the system out we'll remove so let's run all the examples that they have and make sure everything passes so we are getting correct answers 
for all the test cases we can just go ahead and submit this solution now so our solution got accepted by lit code it is 46 percent faster on the performance side and 10 percent on the memory side right so this is the way uh, we can solve the problem of uh, checking if it's a valid parenthesis string can be created or not uh, here let's just take a look at what is the time complexity here so we have this for loop right so we are going through the complete like uh, characters in the strings s once like this is order of n right we are going one here so this is order of n this is for loop order of n this is another for loop this is also order of n but these are outside of each other right so time complexity will be order of n here right so let me just write down here so the time complexity for this solution is order of n right and similarly the the space complexity for this solution is one right or constant right one or constant because we are just using couple of variables here right we are not using any kind of a data structures or anything to hold like a data or anything so just couple of variables so it is constant space complexity which is pretty good solution for this problem uh, if you are new to my channel, uh, there is a dedicated playlist called as lead code and lean code solutions. It has a lot of lead code and lean code solution problems which are previously asked coding interview questions by big tech companies like Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Microsoft, Yahoo uh, and many other financial clients. Uh, so if you are preparing for coding interviews, go through that playlist. It will give you vast varieties of examples and of different types, right? Different types of questions you will get to see in your interviews. You will get to see into those playlists. So it will definitely give you really good preparation. Apart from that playlist, there are some other playlists also on my channel. One is called as Code Forces, uh, other is Code Chef, other is Ad Coder. So, uh, you know, those are also important problems. You can go through them. Uh, so all these problems are explained with whiteboarding sessions and examples and Java code solutions for those problems for your easier understanding. All the Java code solutions are available into my GitHub account. And in all the videos, you will find the GitHub uh, code link where you can go and check it out the uh, Java solutions on my GitHub account. If you like the Java solutions on my GitHub account, then also please consider giving a star on my GitHub uh, repository. That will be helpful. Um, so main goal of the channel is to, uh, you know, create videos to uh, help people in solving problems and uh, explaining problems so they can benefit in their interviews. So if you like this content, if you like this video and if, you, if this video help you in understanding this problem in easier way, then please give it a like. Also write in the comments how this uh, explanation help you in understanding the problem that will encourage me to create uh, more and more uh, you know uh, good content like this. Uh, also uh, share this content and videos with your friends and colleagues that might be uh, benefit from watching these videos if they are preparing for their coding interviews or learning Java they will definitely benefit from this. Uh, if you have any questions reg regarding this video, please put your questions below the description section. Uh, I'm gonna give you the uh, GitHub account link for this solution that we have seen. You can check it out and play with the code uh, with different unit test cases and that will help you in understand the code better. And thanks for watching this video.